Hello and welcome to this Dr Frost video on determining an amount after a fractional increase or decrease. Let's read the first question. The normal price of a laptop is £280. The price increases by two sevenths. Work out the new price of the laptop. Now we could start with that £280 cost of the laptop and we need to increase it by two sevenths of its amount. So let's first work out what that increase was. We know the increase, it says, increased by two-sevenths of its value. So the increase was two-sevenths of £280. Now, to find two-sevenths of £280, we know we can divide this number by the denominator here, so divided by the seven, and then you times it by the top number, the numerator. So £280 divided by seven, you could do it on a calculator if you want, it's £40 because 28 divided by seven is four, but we've got a zero on the end, so it's 40 pounds. 40 times by that two is 80. So the increase in the price of the laptop was 80 pounds. And because that was the increase, we just need to take 280 pounds, the original price of the laptop, and add on that increase of 80 pounds. So it's 280 pounds plus the 80 pounds and if you add those with a calculator or otherwise, that gives you £360. So that's the new price of the laptop after the increase of two-sevenths of its value. What about the second question? We want to decrease 180 by a sixth of its value. That doesn't mean 180 minus a sixth. What it means, what it implies, is that you want to reduce 180 by a sixth of its value. Maybe I'll add that. Well, let's work out what that decrease is first. We work out the increase or the decrease, and then we're going to add or subtract it. So a sixth of 180. Well, to work that out, we just divide the 180 by the six, and times it by one has no effect. 180 divided by six is 30. So that is the decrease. And because 180 is decreasing by that amount, we just want to subtract it. So 180 minus 30 is equal to 150. And that is the new amount after the decrease of 30 of a sixth of its amount. 